symmetry on the vocal folds is not something that we take very lightly. We know of some cases where vocal cord surgery did not go as well. You know, for someone who's always been able to put his mind to what he needs to do, wants to do, and he, by grit and work and dedication, does it, this is unbelievably deflating and frustrating. I'm Jenny Muckala. I am one of the speech pathologists at Vanderbilt at the Voice Center. I specialize in all of the performing voice. So most of the artists that come through who are having some form of difficulty are going to see me preoperatively in an effort hopefully to avoid surgery. And if they need to have surgery, then the outcome is significantly better for folks who go f through a course of voice therapy trying to improve how they take care of their voice, the efficiency with which they use it, and the mindfulness that comes from doing that work is in, in just integral in um, really getting the outcome that they're looking for. Today is day six of no talking. I'm bored out of my mind. at my mom's house in Carolina and she took care of me and made me a lot of desserts. Today I got a PlayStation 4 sent to me from my management company cause they know I'm home and can't really go out or do anything. So now the fun begins. So um, the, the decision to proceed with surgery uh, for Chase um, was was really a I mean it was a slow go so over the last three years or so we've been working with Chase you know some places would have considered surgery at that time but our approach at the voice center is is really to address the behaviors that we know contributed to and I'll call it a polyp to the polyp developing he really was doing so great. It got to be the fall of 2014 where the work to keep all of this intact and the work to keep it all going with his career on the rise and everything going really, really well, it was costing more than he was getting. We got to a point where we were at a, we were basically plateaued and he was not getting better and basically the decision for surgery is when we're at a point where he cannot do the things that he needs to do with his voice. But it's still a bit of a question mark, where is he going to be on the other side? You don't know, this is a big blank space that you don't know, I don't know, Dr. Garrett does not know what your voice can do without that polyp. All of the things that you can do with that polyp there were pretty impressive. We don't even know what you're capable of. It's going to be a really good year, I think. Mm -hmm. 